What's up, Big Blue Nation? Your boy, Big Blue Steph, on this beautiful July 17th at about 12.31 in the afternoon. And me, just like probably the rest of the entire Giants Nation, tick, 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 tick. Four o'clock is the deadline for Saquon to be able to hash out a long-term agreement. Everyone's pins and needles. Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? Just pay the man. Oh, he's not worth enough. He's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. I fall in the pay the man. Come on now, he's more than just a running back. He's a team leader. He's a offensive, super explosive weapon. You know, a lot of Daniel Jones' success hinges on Saquon's ability to be there, take a little pressure off of him, a safety blanket. It is, I don't have the stats in front of me, but it definitely coincides when Saquon is on the field, Daniel Jones' success rate is a lot better. That's just fact, we've seen it. He's a team leader. He's awesome in the locker room. He's well respected amongst not just the Giants, but other other NFL players. I think Dayball, I think Shane know his worth. And it's just gonna come down to can we pay this man a little bit more than what people oh, I don't even know how to really say it. Because it's a business, you don't want to overpay and get, you know, kind of locked down into a contract where what happens if he gets injured? You know, that's, I feel like if he didn't have a lot of that injury history prior, you know, they might have gotten this done earlier or there wouldn't be that much in question. Um, but he's been injured. But last year, for the most part, he stayed pretty healthy, got banged up. But, I mean, that 30-carry game against Houston, I believe, kind of really, you know, put a toll on his body for the rest of the season. But, you know, he was able to grind through. So, definitely proud of him on that one. Um, but pay the man. I mean, he's not asking to reset the market. There's definitely ways you guys can get this done. Giants brass, you know, you know, Mara wants them. Hopefully, Tish wants them. Fans want them. His teammates want them. I believe the coach wants them. Shane wants them. It's all about the dollars and cents. And uh, at this point, we really just don't know how much is that really worth to the Giants GM. All I know is what's the game plan after if you don't resign them. Of course, he can get tagged for the $10 million contract, whatever, whatever, for this year. I mean, he can sign that tender. Um, will Saquon be willing to pay? I mean, play on that? I mean, it's more than what the running back market is really worth right now. But then again, he's not just a running back, as I just said. You know, he means so much more to this team, to this franchise, to the city. I mean, I'm in Maryland, but it means that much to me down here in Maryland, too. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just rough. You know, you really want to see this happen. You hate for it to go down to the wire. But, I mean, it, same thing happened with DJ. I mean, of course, they got the DJ contract done because overall, in the grand scheme of things, the quarterback is going to be your more important player overall. But Saquon is a big part of that, hopefully, going forward. Hopefully it doesn't come down at 3.59 and 59 seconds um, and they just get this done, but come on, y'all. Let's get this done and let's move forward. Let's make sure we go into training camp, which I'm really pissed off because uh, I happened to go on vacation, take a little time away, went to the beach, and I had mentally told myself, July 11th, don't forget about Fan Fest. We traveled down on July 11th, and I completely forgot. So it wasn't until about two days later when I go back and check, and I'm just like, mm. 
F bomb. Uh, yeah, all tickets are sold out, so I was pretty pissed off with that because I really enjoyed being there last year. It's just, especially being down here in Maryland, to be able to, you know, to be amongst pure Giants fans all the time, you know. I mean, for a whole, we spent like the whole day there, basically, through the fireworks and all that. But, um, yeah, guess got to catch it next year. Hopefully after a Super Bowl win. Ha-ha! But, um, yeah, man, getting back to Saquon, I just hope we really get this done. I mean, I'm not really sure what would happen if Saquon and the Giants can't make a long-term agreement happen. I, I, I don't feel like that he would sit out because I think he loves to play that much, and I think realistically he understands, you know, there is a certain shelf life for running backs, and, of course, you want to get paid what you do, but you also want to get paid, period. I mean, yeah, you got the endorsements and stuff. You know, you're well liked. You're going to have a career post football and whatever it will be. But it's too early to think about that. But you would want to think that he'd want to cement his legacy as one of the top running backs ever to play. And what better way to, to be on the field? So, hopefully, if nothing else happens and he signs that $10 million, you know, tender, whatever. It is what it is. It really is what it is. But we got to make it happen. We definitely got to make it happen, Giants Nation. We got to make it happen. Don't let it be a, a thing where an ego checks your ability to win a championship this year. Because that that's my that's my goal. I haven't, of course, you can't really predict what's going to happen early on this year. You know. Some teams that make the playoffs don't make the playoffs next year. Some teams you're expecting, it's like, yo, whoa, what a drop-off. But I think we've been definitely increased our talent, especially on the offensive end, especially if everyone stays healthy. We finally got an inside linebacker who definitely um, is looking to be someone who we can put in, you know, the Giants ring a circle, you know, if he stays long-term, stays healthy. We ain't had that in a while. So, I don't know. I have big expectations for this season. I don't want to, you know, overindulge in saying, oh, we're going to make Super Bowl. We're going to do this and that. But assuming we're healthy, everyone is back, everyone's signed. I mean, you know, we have the depth pieces that we haven't had, you know, with Deontay Banks, you know, anchoring the other side of the corner backfield. I mean, it's just, we, we took care of so much, even though there's still stuff we still need to address, you know, but why not, you know, why not, but anyway, tick, 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 Giants Nation, I hope we get this done, Saquon, Shane, and the GM Brass, let's get this done, catch you after about 4 o'clock, hopefully with some real good news. Later.